I think pretty much everything about my job is cool. Um, I just love the interdisciplinary nature of working in libraries. When it comes to librarians, Milwaukee Public Library Director Joan Johnson has a foreword to her fellow bookworms. People think all we do is read. I don't get to read that much. <laughs> but that doesn't mean she can't remember how she fell in love with the limitless stacks of literature at her fingertips each time she stepped into a library. I've been going to libraries ever since I was a little child. I can barely remember my dad taking me to the library on Saturdays. This was before we even moved to Milwaukee. Find the inspiration amongst the pages. I keep Peter, who is the joyous character in um, Ezra Keats' book from 1962, The Snowy Day. Ezra Keats was the first um, author to be published by a major publisher to, to feature a black character. And it's so wonderful to have a children's book that has a black character for little kids to be able to really relate to, little kids of color. Peter was the first character in a book that was black. I'm the first black librarian. Um, we resonate with each other. One of the things that I've always appreciated is that every day is different because somebody's always going to surprise you with a question that you n never considered. And then in the process of trying to help answer that question, it's always a revelation. There's often something new that, that, I, that I would learn um, when I was on the front lines. A graduate of interior design, the woman who once decided a room's look is now helping others choose the right book. Once I um, started working after I got graduated, um, I realized that some of my favorite parts of all of the projects that I was working on, as far as um, the design work that I had that I was doing, all of that design work required research as a component, um, as part of the process. And so that took me back into the library um, to do the research for the design work that I was doing. Setting her up for a hero's journey that would bring her back home to Milwaukee, where she would later become the head of Central Library. When the deputy at that time retired, um, I was asked to move up into the deputy position. And then I did that for 11 years until um, so the director retired and then in 2020, I was um, asked by the mayor if I would step up and, and lead the system. Authoring a new chapter as the system's first African-American director, overseeing more than a dozen branches. First, I wanna say that um, I, I do wanna acknowledge and honor the African-American women leaders who came before me, even though they were not directors. They were deputy directors and um, really going back to the, um, the 90s. So um, I, I want to acknowledge that we have had some, um, some admirable leadership and pioneers um, in this system for many, many years, I think, before many other libraries could say the same. Cicely Tyson's autobiography, Just As I Am, is one of my all-time favorites. Reading this story helped me learn how important it is to be proud and loud. And she's proud to be serving in a trailblazing role at an iconic institution. Central Library is truly historic. It's been serving the public here for actually 145 years total but this building did not exist until 125 years ago. That's the anniversary that we're, that we're celebrating. We have seven special collections, everything from local history to um, Great Lakes Marine Collection, Milwaukee Road Collection, History of the Milwaukee Railroads, and we've got um, city archives um, in this building. So the collections are, are deep and, and broad and vast, and we have historians who use the library, um, this library, for research on a regular basis. There are some amazing um, items in the Rare Books collection, which is right behind us here. One of my favorite items in the Rarities collection is the autograph book, and the person who can talk about the autograph book is our Rarities librarian, Tim Rush. The autograph book, or as is officially called, a book of autographs. It features over 2,000 
autographs that were collected from 1896 to 1898. In my opinion, I feel like libraries are so significant because it helps people become knowledgeable about things that they might not otherwise have another way to um, learn about something. Your Milwaukee Public Library presents this classic library. Your library and you. Libraries aren't just books, you know. Has been using contemporary ways. You're right, Woody. Today, libraries have so much more. Check this out. It's a book as you can see. I take it out from the local library. Bringing in a new generation of readers. Incredible videos made by employees to help catapult their library into the modern age. We wanted people to know that we were still here and working on their behalf. And so we started to use um, social media more heavily to try to stay, to try to sort of connect back with people and engage with people who just kind of thought nothing was happening. Some of the postings that were, you know, viewed by people got passed around and went viral, which was not something we anticipated. And then it just kind of, the rest is kind of history. And at the core of every book is a spine. And for Joan Johnson, that spine is a mission to help people read, learn, and connect. We're going to continue the work of um, providing resources and services to a city of readers, lifelong learners, building healthy families and strong neighborhoods for a strong Milwaukee. That's the, the, the role of the Milwaukee Public Library.